Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a method to authenticate the token in Node.js. So let's get started. In the utils package, I'm going to create here the new file that is a auth middleware. In this file, I'm going to import here the JSON web token. After importing the JSON web token, I'm going to import here the secret key from the JWT config file. After importing the secret key and the JWT, I'm going to create here the function that is a authenticate token. In the argument, I'm going to add here the request, the response, and the next. So first of all, I'm going to get the authorization key from the header. So it will be a from request. Let me pass here the key that is a authorization. And here I'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of this and name of the variable that is a auth header. After this, I'm going to add the condition where we need to check if the auth header is empty. Then we need to return the response with the status 401 and the message that is a unauthorized missing token. And the status over here that is a 401 and the message in the type of a JSON. That is an unauthorized missing token. After this, I'm going to get here the barrier and the token from the value of the authorization. So we will get from the auth header. And here I'm going to split the string with the space. So let me add here the space between the quotes. And here I'm going to initialize a variable to save the barrier and the token. For that, I'm going to add here the condition where we need to check if the barrier not is equal is equals to barrier not is equals to token. Then we need to return here the response with the message unauthorized in valid token format. Let me add here the or instead of and and. After checking the authorization and the token, if it's correct, so let me call here the JSON web token that is a JWT and the method that is a verify. First, we need to pass here the token and second, we need to pass here the secret key. And here inside the argument, I'm going to add here the error and the user. Inside the verify method, I'm going to add here the condition where we need to check if we are getting an error. Then we need to return here the response with the status 403 and the message that is a forbidden invalid token. So let me copy this. Let me paste here. Let me update the status that is a 403 and the message that is a forbidden invalid token. Otherwise, I'm going to send here the user. So it will be a request of user. And here we need to pass the user and the next method over here to navigate the request to the actual implementation of the endpoint. So this is the implementation of the authenticate token method. After creating this, I'm going to export the method. So it will be a module.exports. And here I'm going to pass the method name that is the authenticate token. That's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.